All right, this is going to be a podcast short review a discussion with JBM and what pisses me off 710 2013 the weekend of the Evil Dead remake reboot sequel I don't know what it is it's up for debate all right say hi yo <laughs> yo this movie was really good I'm really happy with hey it hey guys he's not pissed off today he woke up on the right side of the bed <laughs> <laughs> No, but I loved it, too. I mean, it, it matched the level of gore for, like, an Evil Dead movie. If you want any more gore, you're going to have to, like, watch Dead Alive or something, which is inspired by Evil Dead. And, you know, like, the original Evil Dead was made on, like, under $110,000, you know. Not a yeah. big studio. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, not that many... Um, you know, yeah, resources like, to use as this remake did, you know? That only was fucking made for $10,000? No, I'm saying a hundred, under 100000 It was made oh. for about eighty or $90,000. Yeah, that's fucking pretty and cheap. And that was all pretty much from, like, donations of, like, Sam Raimi going around asking for it or whatnot. Yeah, but he did really good with that, like, a little bit of money. I mean, I guess for back then, that's... And then, you know, as it goes, he's, he found a producer who liked it, who showed it at a film festival that he was showing, like the Cannes Film Festival. And Stephen King happened to be to watch that film, and that was back in Stephen King's prime heyday, and he gave it a raving review. And then, so, yeah, it became one of the most influential horror films of the 80s. It stood out that much. It deserves it, because it really is that damn fucking good. I mean, the the ending, like, that whole... Like, all the scenes with, like, the fucked up practical effects and, like, just the gore in that movie still, to me, holds up. Even though it's a little outdated. It still looks good. I agree. It's, it's a little still outdated, but still holds up. Because it's, like, isolated out in the cabin, like... Yeah. That timeless feeling. Speaking about this, the the 2013 one, like you can't even tell what time it was released. Essentially, they don't have cell phones in it. Yeah, that's what's good too. And like the cars that they use are like from the 90s, or like they. Had I heard that that was the car that they used in the original. I don't like think the, they I, did that a. Could be wrong a no, because they did a Jeep and like what a yeah, station wagon in this. In the original, it was. Uh, what's his name? Ash's 68 Mustang. So, no. But, um, it was like almost the same premise as like the remake, you know? Or the original. Like the yeah, five, the group of five and like the girl gets possessed first and all the girls get possessed because they have the devil in them naturally. Yeah, but they took out the whole, you know, they play a tape. It's just some dumb dude that just reads the book for no reason. What are you and talking the about? The original? No, that was an archaeologist. He's the one who originally found the book of yeah, the dead yeah, and just, brought it there. And then... They you need to the write movie. a freaking remake or a prequel to Evil Dead, The Evil Dead, 1981, where the... Well, they kind of did that in this movie. Like, they, they, they kind of said that there was other fucked up shit that's happened in this cabin because that's what that first scene was. That's why... it. They should have just made it as basically a sequel. It is a continuation sequel, and they were talking about eventually, you know, doing Army of Darkness movies and, like, having Mia and Bruce Campbell as, like, you know, the superheroes that fight, fight deadites, which is the joke that the, the franchise that Sam Raimi turned it into. I mean, that's just stupid. Like, I, I like the fact that it's scary. I mean... I'm glad that like, it went... Evil Dead finally went back to its roots because halfway through the second one, when the books start laughing, you're like, "All right, I'm done." <laughs> yeah. I need a hit, or else I'm turning this off. I'm done. So I'm t it's not a bad. The third movie, I actually did laugh though. Like it made me laugh. Like I'm not gonna bullshit. There's like, some it good is lines, stupid, but, though, but it, yeah, huh? no, taking them into like medieval ages on the. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. I know. I, that's why I'm saying you gotta love this remake reboot that they did. They brought it back to the cabin, back to the Evil Dead's roots. One of the I scariest the settings effects. for a horror film. Like, did you notice that there was some CGI in there? Come on. 
Of course, there was some CGI. It couldn't have been all practical effects. But I'll tell you one thing. The editing wasn't choppy at all. It was awesome, you know, when she yeah. cuts off her arm. Like, they didn't even cut away until, like, all the way at the end. It was like, beautiful. It actually showed it, like, dangling by some skin. It just falls on the floor. I know. Wasn't it just top-notch gore? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I mean, even I even I'm not gonna bullshit. Like I I said this in my review that I like this film more than the original because it like even had like more of a story about the girl. Yeah, you know, there almost is that. more of a story that they tell in this one, and more of like, but I thought they would do like more. It's like the characters didn't know what was happening, but we knew it was gonna happen. You know. Yeah. The audience knew it was... I thought there would be a little bit more mystery and suspense throughout. Yeah, I'm glad that they didn't do the whole fucking stupid jump scare bullshit. It played the same... Yeah, I know. It played like this out the same way as the original. All the girls get possessed and like end up getting mutilated. Well, they actually had the guy get taken over. I was surprised by that. Yeah, then the two guys are left, just like in the original. They were the two like, last I was ones to be possessed. Like, like, how many times did you expect it to, like, it would be over here? Like, how many times did it, like, do, like, a huge fucking, like, I don't know, fucked up part? Like, one fucked up part, I thought it was going to be over what, there. What, you didn't see the Rainmaker? Like, I didn't expect it to... They the- said once they devours five souls, the bitch in the beginning, and then the two girls, the two other girls, and then the two guys, that was five souls, then it started raining blood. And then that one bitch rises up out of the ground. That was pretty crazy. Oh, but, yeah. But then, was like the I was saying, chick, they, yeah, it was. Or are you talking about like, the same like, chick from the beginning, the opening scene? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was of yeah. Because they wouldn't have done that opening scene without it, you know? That's what happened last. And her burned body. Yeah. Even though her burned body was in the basement. Here's another thing, though. They're already talking about doing the sequel. We're going to talk straight spoilers now. Discussion this for people who have seen it. Anyway. You know, like, they bur- he goes to burn down the cabin and- as his last-ditch effort to save the whole thing, save everyone. But they don't like show the cabin the completely burned down. But go ahead, sorry. Yeah, so you didn't think it was over there? I thought it was over there. Yeah, it did that other shit. but they didn't show the cabin burned completely down, did they? They couldn't have burned the cabin. Like, the book never burns. Just because the cabin does, they'll just make a new cabin on top of the book. Was it supposed to? Be, was it the same exact modeled cabin as the original? I mean, yeah, it, it looked exactly the same. It looked well from the outside. It definitely looked exactly the same. I don't know about the inside, but yeah, because the, the outside, inside, I wouldn't even fucking stay in there. Like, why would these? I mean, I guess the girl wanted like detox and shit. The set was like, awesome, figured, wasn't it? Yeah, it looked great, but like. I don't think anybody would want to have one night spent in there. And then they put the witchcraft ceremony in the basement. I like how they extended and expanded on the basement, the cabinet, the classic Evil Dead cabinet cellar. Yeah. And then Did you the- notice that the, the singing part with the chick wasn't in the movie? Uh, you know, from the Red Band trailer when she... Yeah, I guess you're going they, they always yeah. do that, don't they? Whatever. I don't know. Like, I didn't miss it. I didn't movie. watch the Red Band trailer pissed off 710 style up the butt. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I only saw... I, I hate watching trailers because it's just all spoilers. I guess. So it gets I don't, you more overhyped for movies. So anyway, yeah. uh, I can't believe they didn't play the tape recorder in this one. You know what they should have done for the ending? Is they would mm-hmm. they would should have found the same tape recorder like found buried in the basement and like you know played the tape and then like the archaeologist could have have recorded the sayings to like use the book to you know banish the demons back to where they came from because that's the only way you could banish the deadites. Then it would have connected them and it would have been like oh they could do that for the sequel still. I mean, like. I don't know. I hope that this movie makes a lot of money. I want a sequel. It's going to make enough money for a sequel. It already made $11 million one day. Yeah. And the budget's only $17 million, so. Yeah, that's this why. See, all they have to do is film out in the cabin out in the middle of nowhere, so. 
yeah, they could easily make it for. But I like that in in the movie how like. Size budget. I like how in the movie they made it so like that book wouldn't burn. It looked cool. Like that was cool. You know. The books look awesome. The dialogue wasn't even that awesome because the two guys that wrote the script, their first language is Spanish. So it wasn't that crisp or that intelligent. And then it was supposed to be revised by Diablo Cody, who's the writer of Jennifer's Body. But they say that she didn't write enough to get credit for it, do enough, enough of her, her work was used. So... What was missing from this movie, though, is they didn't have the, like, join us thing. Join us! They Except had it at one part. They had that in a movie? Yeah, they had it. Of course they did. What part? I don't remember. I'm sure there was. I don't know what part exactly. You saw it twice. I don't know. Maybe don't you're right then. Movies, so. So, huh? yeah. so maybe you're right. I don't know. Um, I don't know. A lot of scenes were taken out. Like, imagine a fucking unrated, though. Like, what the hell can they do with an unrated? <laughs> I remember you saying in one of the, the groups or something that you thought they made her, like, too much, you know, like Reagan from Exorcist. They made the main character hardcore Reagan ripoff. Not really. I mean, some of it, sort of. Like, yeah. the way she was, like, suck cock or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, the whole demeanor and personality, you know they were just going for the Reagan. Well, even in the original, the chick reminded me of... Yeah, that know, was half a rip off of that, too, and, like, Salem's Lot. So, yeah, it's and like, don't I don't afraid know. Afraid of the Dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the demons are almost, like, different. It's almost like a different origin, like, different... Than like, like the, the original the too. The part in this movie wasn't even one of the gory ass scenes. It was when the ch when the chick was just hacking at her cheek and you only heard it. Dude, that fucking was really messed up. Like that that scene, I don't know why. Just like like just hearing it was more fucked up than seeing it for some reason. Hacking at what chick? What scene? The chick that was you know. The one that was giving me a needles and all that shit to like cope with her. Uh, oh, where she was cutting. Her, where they were fighting, or where she was cutting her jaw. Yeah, the sound of that shit was worse than the actual show of what they did, what she did. Yeah, it was I mean, pretty elaborate gore. I mean, I think the movie does better as like a short story than like a full-length movie. I guess I understand why he took it outside the cabin. But, I mean, so they couldn't even really go. I can't believe there wasn't any outside characters to visit the cabin in any way, you know? Oh, like more people coming there? Yeah, that was kind of surprising. But they did yeah. do, like, the before scene of, like, the people, oh, the who, people were, has been there. who were dealing with the possessed bitch who killed, like, a few Yeah, people. I wasn't expecting her to be the actual problem like i thought the parents were just killing bitches but then it was the you know chick that was all fucked up that was cool. dude we could have got bottom line we could have got texas chainsaw massacre 3d but this is way more better than texas this chainsaw 3d so, definitely was, so far my, i give it a p definitely my favorite movie of this year so and, far and you gave it a nine out of ten yeah, the only problem I had was like sometimes 